What's up, guys? Max here with some overall amazing news for Street Fighter V. Today, there was a big announcement from Capcom as far as two different hot topics, and that's the use of arcade sticks and the first DLC character that's going to be available for SF5. Now, we did a video not that long ago that had some pretty good evidence that the first character most likely was going to be one that was nearly completed, which was Balrog the Boxer. And I will say right now, I have never been more happy to be wrong from the video and the information we had before because the first character actually is not going to be Balrog. It's going to be Alex, the most anticipated character, in my opinion, of all the DLC fighters for me personally is Alex, and I am freaking ecstatic. This character is going to be available in March. He's the first DLC character, and they're going to release one DLC character all the way up until September, which is also freaking crazy. This means that the development for a lot of Street Fighter V DLC characters has been in production for much longer than I initially thought, and it means that their production schedule isn't going to reach all the way until 2016 or the end of 2016, where we were going to get scattered DLC characters throughout the year. No, we're getting them one per month, which is fan freak fantastic. Um, the initial report I had from Balrog, which is that he's almost a completed character, and he was the first playable, is one of the bigger things that possibly happened at the Capcom Cup that was going on behind closed doors, so I immediately thought this has to be the first DLC character, but it turns out Balrog's also most likely nearly done because he's going to be maybe the next character after that. He's probably going to still be pretty early because he's mostly finished from what many people were saying, but I'm assuming they didn't want to show off Alex because there'd probably be a few leaks and people sneaking pictures and everything like that because he's a heavily sought after character that has been so highly anticipated over Street Fighter 4 and now Street Fighter 5 that it was probably a good call and this will get a lot of people interested in the future characters that are going to be coming out down the line, especially if Alex is a lot of freaking fun. The other huge piece of news is that Street Fighter V will indeed support your classic arcade sticks from the PlayStation 3 on the PS4. Meaning that if you already had a stick that you were using on the previous console, that, that's just going to totally work. However, there has been some new information and details that you do need that DualShock 4 controller connected already to make it work. Meaning that you guys might have already run into this in Ultra Street Fighter 4 on PlayStation 4, where I believe you need a DualShock 4 connected to the system in order to allow it to use backwards compatibility with the previous arcade sticks. And that appears to be the similar situation with Street Fighter 5. But overall, that's amazing news. Um, if you do want to get a new arcade stick, you can, but you can still use the older ones, which will make things a lot easier on players that can't afford it or we're going to go to the PC version or things like that. Other than that, Street Fighter V is just around the corner, guys. There's going to be a lot of stuff happening on this channel fairly soon, the continuation of the legacy, and the fact that Alex is the first DLC character possibly has me more excited for him than any other character in the roster right now. I just really hope they nail his look. I hope he evolves and doesn't look like he does as the background character. Please, Capcom, please make it true and give me that pilot jacket version of Alex. Oh my god, that would make me so damn happy. As soon as the trailer is up, we'll have a reaction video, I hope, if I do get a chance to make that video, and we'll have a breakdown of Alex. But that should be happening fairly soon because the game is going to be dropping in just about a week. As always, guys, thank you a ton for watching. Thank you so much for the support, and we'll be back with more SF5 news and information as soon as it's available. My name is Max, and I'll see you next time.